uh, this the two buttons are not properly aligned so we can do we can reduce the padding around the area or we can increase the size of the card or reduce the font of the content there so let's see let's come here in our card area so we'll go to the jersey everything now is in jess and i just and uh, let's look at the code we have what can we do in our card div Okay, we look at we have a class called card width. We'll check it later. Let's keep checking other classes here. All right, let's go to our card div. The class called card div 18 RAM. So let's see, we increase this to 19. Yeah, so we have a better um, the buttons are better position now okay so let's continue now you know even you click on the product you come to the product detail page and what we need to do now is um, move back to the back end and do some adjustment then in our product model we need to add description Do we have anything product description no so add description to the properties and it just a string then we have uh, we have do we have uh, images we don't So we can have images and this is a it's an array of strings okay what we have here is Array. Now, in our product controller, now we we don't need to make any adjustments. I think uh, we didn't add the product to this. Um, one by one. So what we we'll do if we create a new product? If we create a new product, then we will be able to see the description for for the products and let's say we're looking for some song uh, analysis So we just copy some of this test. 
Boom. Okay. In the case of the images, we need to work around creating a service that can help us do that. We'll do that one of these days. So let's go to why this is loaded. I don't know why it's taking time. But I see it made an update. So we can come here. Think of how our uh, page will look like. Now remember, we still need to have our header in this page, but we ignore that for the meantime. And then we need to have a room. And the first column, let's say call MD4 will be for the product image. And then I'm going to have uh, IMG SRC HTTPS placehold dot e slash five hundred by five hundred. Then the next one. MD8. We just have to paste this text for now and we run. Okay, so this is what we have a product image, and this description is not aligning the way I want. So let's check what is wrong. Okay, I think we need to bring in Bootstrap here too. Where is the Let's check it again. Okay, so and we put this B4 pattern. So we are designing. Uh, our uh, product detail page looks. I think this is getting looking nice. We have the product image on the left. Then we have the description on the right. Then what we are having again. Under this description, we can have we can have a group of buttons. So what we we'll do is uh, go back here and pick the buttons. Okay, the buttons were added programmatically, 
Okay, so we need to add two buttons. So let's go back there. Add two buttons. The button, the class is uh, BTN, BTN light. It's a primary. Add to cut. We still have the next one. I now. And then this one is a bit in danger. Let me remove this. It's a class before to M4 to style width of this should fit content, just the content of the text inside. Fit content. So we can add padding. Of uh, five pixels. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, we we have nice looking button now. Okay, so and um, we need to space these two buttons. So let's see. We just add uh, what is it called? Um, M4 here. Add M4. That's okay. Now under this row, we are done with this section. We have another row. So in this row, we can then have tab. So let's look at bootstrap tab. Look at bootstrap tab. Scroll down, this is the one I'm looking for tab. So then when we click, so let's see. In this section, we'll paste something like this. Let's work with this instead. Okay. 
let's look at what we have now. Okay, under this whole section, we can then have our tabs here. And um, when they click on each of the tab, we have the content. So our tab header, this should be this should be reviews. Or let's say spec specifications review and this one can name be a chart supplier something like that or we can call this one ratings but we can have the rating in the view it's better we have them there together so under this You can then have descriptions. You can so let's pick this information based here. Then we'll paste it twice here. We paste here. What we are doing, we are just trying to get some structure for our application. So now we have a nice looking uh, this, uh, description or detail page. And then this section, we need to make a padding. Uh, let's look, come up to where we have the row. So here we can add the P4 for padding. Let's watch it. it should look better look better now. All right, our content now is not aligning to the wall. And um, the whole of this container, we can probably, if we want, make them align better. So we wrap everything here in a container, bootstrap container. So we call have a container D and everything here. Probably we are going, this is not going to give us some spacing. Yeah, so you can see what we have now. Everything is better aligned. Mm. So let's see if again, I come up to a description and instead of M7, make this M8. Okay. Now what I need to do in between this, instead of the container what i can do alternatively is just to put a p4 here so we see have oh, i think uh, i am wrapping the wrong section i should just wrap the body everything in the body and not the entire html so we'll come down here also and get this Remove it and uh, put it here. Okay, so this is what we have. I think this is more, this is better. And um, in between this image and the description, we can equally give it a space. We can create a space, uh, some padding or margin. So here, we already have pattern for this. We can equally do that for this. So we can do, uh, let's say two. Do we have it right? No, this is not overflowing. This is not overflowing. Let's see one. I want to create some space between the two content. Okay. Alternatively, what I can do is to reduce the size of this image to 390 by 450. This should be fine. Okay. Then 
and we remove the marginal calculation. Now, in our application, all these things, especially this image and this description, is supposed to come from uh, our backend. And then this review session, after the person must have seen all this, he can say, okay, let me go down and see if I can see more specifications, and review, and um, different things, or even want to chart the seller of the products. So these are things that you can add in the application. But then we need to make changes. Yes, we need to make changes and bring in description coming from the back end. Okay, so let's see how we are able to achieve this. So I'm going to have the product page, product detail script here. So let's see scripts. It's RC. We have a good script folder. Then we have yeah, products. So we have product pages. Um, we can get to this other one. We pick what we have. Just pick this. Then come here. First, to we'll create the function, or we can also uh, document that um, we have unload. Unload. We can create with this. We don't need to execute the, the code. Execute automatically. When it loads, we should request something. That is what we want to do. Let's see if this is going to work. Right. But then, what we, we need to get that um, ID first from the screen. So we can say location. That, um, I want to log this. Okay, so let's look at what we have. Let me first be sure the linking is successful. Okay.
I'm looking for a case like uh, from my login receipts. I think uh, let me just get what I'm looking for. Sim, trying to get some params in JS. Trying to remember what to do. Sign forget your parameter with JavaScript. Okay, I think I can get what I'm looking for here. Something like this. So let's see location for search. We don't have much time on our side. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm looking for. So now we have the ID. So if we want, it's not easier. I'll look into this later. So let's see if it's not executing. So let's create a function. A function fetch um, with a be a sync to take const id should be equals this is equals this dot id So this our log now, and so we can then gotten our ID, log our ID. Then we get our request just what we did in the other section this request is a property in js that can help you you know query an api so we attach our id here so we are not going to slash product slash id so we say const that json is equals request dot json First, we have an await here, and we have JSON here. So this is no longer necessary. Okay. So let's log our JSON now. See what we get. 
products is a JSON. I'll rename that to product. All right, so let's try and see what we get. Okay, I have to execute the function. So let's do similar thing. What we have in the other one. Uh, fetch detail. I have a sync here. Yeah, we execute this. I'll we'll check for the result we got. Okay, ID here is undefined, so I'm going to have an error really. Uh, how do we get this ID? Let's remove this first. I think, um, let me pass this to Jason. So Jason, the pass. Okay. What do we have? Oh, because of that question mark, we can't pass this as JSON. All right. I'm surprised why the products. Let's look at the database. Do we have anywhere we are linking the other products? Um, JS because it's fetching. We're still seeing data coming for. Okay, okay. I think it's because the, since the ID is not. Okay, this is what we are getting. So let's go back to our product detail JS. Now the ID we are getting is in this format. We need to extract the ID. Mm -hmm. So we split this. A split by eight words. Then we take the number one section. So this will be our ID. So we are splitting from where we have a course. Yeah, so you see we have the ID now. But then uh, we need to add slash here. So we have our rat properly stated. Now backend is broken. We need to fix it. We need to restart it. We are running out of time. We try again. Saying fit to fetch connection refused. Let's see what we have, what the error is. So let's we'll go to our product service, then get product by ID. So let's look at the ID that is being sent.
Okay, ID is saying not a number. I think we have an issue in our product controller trying to convert the ID to a number. So let's see, get product by ID. Yes, yeah, so we'll remove this plus. Okay, because we are not using a, a, a number ID. So let's try again. Yes, we now have an empty product that is returned to us at the moment. Okay, so let's go back to saying the undefined is sent from the front end. So how do we get this to be defined? Knowing that we really have an ID. When we log this ID in the front end, we are seeing the ID. But then before, let's see, we are going to have this outside first. Uh, this is serious. We have location here. by getting the ID. But then we send it to the back end. It's going. We are not seeing anything. So let's go back. Maybe we might be having issue in our back end code. What are we getting here? With that of the ID. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is where we are having an issue. It should be parents. Let's try again. Yes, we now have the ID coming to the back end. We look at the front end again. Do we have data? Let's observe again. What do we have? Get product by ID. Then let's log a product here. Once we are sure our product gets to our controller, from my type in menu. Okay, this is why we are having an issue. We need to await this to make this a thing. I think uh, this is should be the issue. Let's try again. Now we have our product data coming for us. We can use this data now to do whatever we want. So we have images, it's empty. We have our brand, we have the product name. We have the product name. So at this point, what we are going to do is just to change uh, this product detail to be the name of the product. So let me comment this to get don't it anymore to so we'll come to our detail page and our title we should give it an id of title just a title then we can get rid of the text come to our js and now we get document by id title and change the content the element by ID and the ID we're getting is title and what we are changing is the inner inner test and it's equals products 
dot item. So if we reload our page now, we should see our what do we have? It's not showing anything. Do we have oh sorry, we have product uh, product name not title. Uh, this is me confused. Okay, so let's try what do we have when product is loaded? It's not still giving us what we want. I think uh, did I misspell the title? Let's look at it detail. So I misspelled what I got. Yeah, I have double T here. So this is why it was saying we can't add something to what doesn't exist. So yeah, we now have our iPhone 13 here. All right. So I think we stop here for the day. We proceed again tomorrow. You have any question? Any question, guys? No question, sir. All right. So let's um, enjoy the rest of the day. We meet again tomorrow. Okay, thank you.